Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 63 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining the slope formula. So the slope formula is something that we can use to determine the slope of a line. And the information that we need to determine the slope is basically just two points from that line. So the slope formula looks like this. The slope, which we refer to as the letter M, is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what in the world is y2, y1, x2, x1? Where did those values come from? So basically y2 and y1 and x2 and x1, those are going to be components of the two points that we're going to use. So basically we're going to have one of our points and we're just going to call it P1 right now. So P1 stands for point 1 and for a point in the XY coordinate system we basically need an X component and we need a Y component. And since this is P1, point 1, we're going to call our coordinates X1 and Y1. And so point 2 we're going to refer to as P2 and we're going to go ahead and give it coordinates x2 and y2. So this is where our y2, y1, x2, and x1 come from. They're basically coming from the points that we're going to be using. And these points are from the line that we're trying to find the slope of. So let me just go ahead and just draw a coordinate system with a line on it really quick. So now we've got this xy coordinate system here and we've got this line as well and then there's also these two points that are given to us that are on the line so now we basically just need to use this information from these two points to determine the slope of this line so we need to figure out what y2, y1, x2 and x1 are so we just need to pick one of these points to be point 1 and the other one to be point 2 and it doesn't make a bit of difference which one you pick to be which. So I'm just going to just choose this one to be point 1, and then this one over here, I'll just call that one point 2. So basically, you can pick either one to be point 2, either one to be point 1. You just need to make sure that you're consistent with the y2s and y1s and x2s and x1s in this formula. So basically, if this point, negative 2, negative 3, if that's P1, then we're just going to go ahead and just put that up here for P1. We're just going to put negative 2, negative 3. So now do you see that uh, X1 has a value of negative 2? Y1 has a value of negative 3. So P2 is the other point. It's 2, negative 1. So we'll just go ahead and put 2, negative 1 and then I'll just go ahead and put P1 up here just for clarity and P2 down here. So basically X2 is equal to 2 now and Y2 is equal to negative 1. So now what we need to do is we just need to translate the Y2, Y1, X2 and X1 to the numbers that we um, have represented here by those components and plug it into the slope formula. So now we're basically looking at our slope is equal to now y2 y2 is the right hand side of the p2 point so y2 corresponds to that negative 1 here right here so we put negative 1 for y2 and then we're subtracting y1 so y1 we go up here to point 1 and the y1 component corresponds to the negative 3 in P1. So we're subtracting a negative 3 and then we're dividing that by x2 minus x1. So x2 comes from point 2 and x2 represents this 2 right here. So we'll just put 2 for x2 and then we subtract x1. So subtracting x1, x1 is up here with point 1 and x1 corresponds to the negative 2. So we're subtracting a negative 2. So now we basically have negative 1 minus a negative 3. And so minus a negative is the same thing as plus. So we're just going to rewrite this 
as m is equal to minus 1 plus 3. And then on the bottom, we have the same situation, 2 minus a negative 2. Well, minus a negative is a plus once again, so this ends up becoming 2 plus 2 on the bottom. And then we have negative 1, and we're adding 3 to that, so that becomes a positive 2. And on the bottom, we have 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So 2 over 4 now can be reduced. So 2 is the same thing as 2 times 1. And 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So now our 2 and 2 cancel right here, leaving us with a slope of 1 half. So we were basically able to get this 1 half by using these two points that were on this line and plugging them into the slope formula. And that told us that a line that contains those two points has a slope of 1 half. So 1 half is the slope of that line that I have drawn up there. I'll just put slope equals 1 half. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. You have an excellent day. Um, feel free to let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.